So I ordered some new bus bars for my um, LiPo for 15 kilowatt uh, solar generator. Um, it's not a solar generator, it's my power wall. Um, it's over in the corner of my garage here and it works great. But if you saw a previous video, um, I had problems with A, I used undersized wiring for some solar wire purely by mistake. I just grabbed the wrong wire. But also, this was the terminal block that I was running the solar into and then back out to the battery and this was getting hot and um, I ultimately sort of rigged it with some copper links um, and it's it's perfectly cool now I don't have any overheating problems but um, this is probably undersized for the current I was pushing it through so I ordered some new bus bars off AliExpress that I'm probably going to change to so the current one is just one of these automotive style uh, um, 12 volt um, terminal blocks and this side is connected to this side and if you add one of these like spade connectors then you can connect all of these to each other so this whole thing can become one big say positive terminal and then you can have all your wires connected to it. The problem is um, it's fairly tiny um, um, you know copper or brass or whatever this is that connects the different terminal blocks and my solar was pushing 21 amps through this and it was getting really hot um, and that you know in hindsight that's just not that much material to run 21 amps through and you know the the excuse me for that I wanted to get a screwdriver the little piece of copper that's um, connects these terminals across isn't much bigger either um, here it is it is um, it's got an okay cross section but it is thin it's really thin um, so this, you know, was struggling to carry the, the current I was putting through it. So I ordered these. Um, fairly beefy. Um, good cross-section, I mean. Um, in comparison, it's pure cross-section. Significantly more cross-section and thicker. Um, so I think this will carry plenty of current. And then the nice thing about this is I, I kind of have two main... Um, big wires, one from the solar and one to the battery. And then I usually have some smaller stuff going to like the um, uh, battery monitor or the 12 volt circuit and some other stuff. And so this would, you know, serve me well, you know, two main connections and a couple smaller connections. Um, and these were pretty dirt cheap. I think I got five for about 10 bucks. So that's not bad. Um, I don't think this is pure copper. Um, in fact, I guarantee it's not. I think they said it. I think it said it was kind of a brass. Um, scraping it with a blade isn't isn't revealing too much. It's probably this silvery uh, brass material the whole way through. But the thick, the decent thickness and the cross section and that, this should be, you know, 20 amps. This should carry that without even breaking a sweat. Um, so yeah, I think this will, you know, work well. I'll screw this onto the back of my uh, my power wall, and then attach my two main power wires and then my my auxiliary um, connections here, and we'll make one positive and one negative. And uh, um, I think this will uh, definitely solve any overheating issues I had on the bus bar. Um, so let me pull out my solar generator. I mean, I keep saying solar generator. I mean, my power wall. Let me wheel my power wall out and uh, we'll check out uh, what I'm going to be doing. Okay, so here is the back of my um, 15 kilowatt uh, LiPo 4 uh, power wall. And um, you can see here is, this is the negative bus bar this is the positive bus bar um, here is the negative coming from the bat uh, actually coming from the solar generator and here is the negative going down to the uh, shunt and back to the battery and you can see I put a little copper piece of copper link between these two connections on both of these 
to help with the current carrying capabilities and that really worked i've had no more overheating problems since but these are just really not quite designed for the uh, current carrying that i i need to be doing so um i think we are going to um put in these new bus bars now they are significantly bigger just one of these is twice the size of uh of these other ones so i'm gonna have to figure out my wiring and where i'm gonna put them um and maybe i'll yeah i think i'll probably put them horizontally i think that'll work i'll put one horizontally there and one horizontally there and obviously I'll, this will be the positive that'll be the negative um but yeah i think we'll we'll and um i'll have to terminate each one of these connections because right now they're just screwed down and they don't have any any ring terminals on them we'll have to switch to ring terminals um but that's not that big of a deal and um i think let's screw this into the board remove these connections um i'll have to make sure the battery is disconnected and there's no chance of anything shorting but i think everything on here runs through the main switch up here the switch up here i think everything everything on here runs through this main switch so i don't think there's a risk of shorting um but uh yeah let me disconnect this and and uh lay this out and and we'll start uh, rewiring everything so i'm about to start to disconnect these and work on these i can confirm that everything on this positive side is on the other side of the breaker so this with the breaker uh, open which it currently is none of this will be electrically you know charged so it is safe to work on but as a good matter of practice do not disconnect the positive and negative simultaneously ideally take apart the negative redo all the wiring for the negative and when you're done then take apart the positive and redo all the wiring on the positive um it's just looking for trouble to have dangling positive and negative wires simultaneously even though in theory everything is on the other side of the positive breaker um it is it's just good practice just not to have dangling positive and negative wires at the same time so that's what we'll do we're going to do the negative first and then we'll move on to the positive Right, rewiring is done. Um, this this positive wire was a little shorter than I wanted, and I don't feel like remaking it. I would I would like to have, have had it loop sort of like this, sort of not on the bus bar, but uh, it's you know that outdoor rated shielded stuff. Ain't, there's not going to be any problems with that. So our, our uh, this is actually the battery wire, and this is the solar wire. So the solar comes in here, goes through the bus bar, and then returns to the battery through there and this is the opposite this is the solar wire and this is the battery wire so the solar comes in here and goes through there down to the shunt and into the battery so 
That's our negative. That's our positive. I uh, kind of wish I, there was a way to cover this. I had, it's one thing I hadn't really thought of is some sort of cover for the positive. I do like to cover big exposed uh, positive terminals, but, um, you know, nothing too, you know, this is the back of the, the power wall and this is pushed up against a wall in use. So nothing's going to touch between here. Um, and then these are all just super low amp. This is a little 12 volt circuit wire, the meter wire. These are just nothing connections. I just used little like little spade connectors on those and and um, they're 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 screwed in and good to go. And uh, yeah, I like these. Um, they, they take up a larger physical space, which you have to plan for. Um, and again, I wish I had I had a little extra length in the wire, but overall nothing wrong with these and I think these will handle the current. So let's go plug it back in and hit it with a bit of solar. Okay, power wall is back operational. Breakers are closed, solar's coming in. Unfortunately, it's a cold winter day here and so there's only 100 uh, watts coming in, which is nothing. Um, so this isn't gonna stress those bus bars yet, but um, uh, you know, I'll wait till a sunny day where I get five, 600 watts through the, through the bus bars and uh, I'll keep an eye on them. But um, yeah, I'm happy I made that change. I feel more confident with these bus bars. They just are overall beefier. You can see them back there. Um, nothing's going to touch those since it's pushed up against the wall. So yeah, I'm all right with them. So uh, I think that'll work.